Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video is going to be a simplified version of my previous video where I was talking about how to uh, come up with a formula, how to figure out exactly how much wax and exactly how much fragrance oil you need for your specific jar so you don't have any overages or any extra liquid or anything like that. And um, I thought that that video was going to be probably my last video that I was gonna be talking about it until one of my wonderful, wonderful subscribers actually left me a comment letting me know that she used my formula and she was able to simplify it to make it honestly so much easier for you guys. Because as much as people were reaching out to me letting me know that that formula did help you guys, I do think that this will be even more helpful, especially for the people that still didn't understand that formula. So we're gonna get right into this video and I'm just gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna give you some examples, but it's it should be a pretty quick straight to the point video so let's go ahead and get into it okay so first things first before we get into all of this is you need to have two things um, already two numbers already that you can plug into this equation one is going to be the net weight that can fill up your jar so your personal jar the personal candle that you're using you need to know how much weight total can fit inside that jar now um, if you have no idea how to figure this out I have had a lot of questions of people asking me how do you go about doing that and there's two ways that I always suggest the first one is to go onto the website the manufacturer anywhere that you purchase the actual candle jar and sometimes they do give you a fill weight they'll tell you how much weight can fit inside of your candle and so you can always go onto the website and see if they provide you with that information if they don't another way that you can do it just for a very simplistic way of explaining this right now is you can put your empty jar on a scale and tear it which basically cancels out the weight of the jar and it will only show whatever weight you pour into it so go ahead and fill it up to wherever you want to fill it up to and that will give you your net weight now another thing that you do need to know for this equation is how much fragrance oil you want to use another question I get is how do you know how much fragrance oil to use for your candles and that again goes back to you need to find out what wax you're using and go and look at the instructions um, a lot of the time they will give you a range that that specific wax can hold so all waxes will hold a different fragrance load so somebody that can use 12% with theirs doesn't necessarily mean that you can use 12% with yours a very common range that a lot of people use is between 8 to 12% depending on what kind of wax you are working with so definitely find out those two numbers before using this formula now going into the formula I'm just gonna explain everything that I wrote right here so the formula is um, you're gonna do your your net weight and you're going to divide that by a hundred percent plus your fragrance oil percentage this will give you the wax weight needed for your candle jar and all you do from there is you take the net weight and you subtract the wax weight and that will give you the fragrance oil weight and I'm just going to get into some examples to show you guys this formula in action all right so getting into this very first equation we are gonna be using 12 ounces for this example now if you guys have not known from my other videos I like to do everything in grams just makes it so much easier so we're going to go ahead and convert that to 340 grams and all I do is I go on Google I type into Google OZ to G which is ounces to grams and I just type in 12 in the ounces it gives me 340 grams super simple so um, we're going to do 340 grams and work with a 10% fragrance oil now what you do in this equation is you just take the net weight just like with the formula so we're going to do 340 grams and we're going to divide that by 100% plus, we're going to be using 10%, so we're going to do 10%. And so that's going to be 110%. So all we do is we work our way down. We do 340 divided by 110%. We're gonna find what that gets us. Again, all I do is on a calculator. 340 divided by 110%. What does that give us? That gives us 309 grams. So now we know that 309 grams is what you need um, of wax. So the amount of wax weight that you need for this equation is 309 grams. In order to find out how much fragrance oil you need, all we would do is subtract 309 by 340 
and see what that gives us. So 340 minus 309, and that gives us 31 grams. So now we know that 309 grams of wax and 31 grams of fragrance oil will give us a total net weight of 340 grams and it will give us a percentage of 10% fragrance oil. Now, in my other equation that I did, I did A divided by B equals fragrance oil percentage and A plus B equals uh, net weight. And you can plug that in and like check your work kind of like back in school, you can check your work and see. So 31 grams plugged into the A category and 309 grams plugged into the B category. So 31 divided by 309 is 10% when you do it on a calculator. And 31 plus 309 is equal to 340. So that is how you do this. And we're gonna move on to a couple more examples. Example number two, we're going to be using a nine ounce candle. So a with a net weight of nine ounces, converting that to grams is 255 grams. We're going to be working off of that number. In this equation, we're going to be doing 8% fragrance oil. So just like we did in the last one, we're gonna take this number right here. So this is 255. We are going to divide that by 100% plus 8%. So that is going to bring us down to 255 divided by 108%. So I do that on a calculator and that gives me 236 grams. So now we know that it's 236 grams of wax that we need for this, for this candle, for this equation. So now we're going to do 255 minus 236 and that gives us 19. So it's 19 grams fragrance oil and 236 grams of wax. Super simple, really quick and easy. All right, final example for this formula, we are going to be doing a 16 ounces net weight of wax, um, which is equivalent to 454 grams. So we're gonna be using this number and uh, we're gonna be doing 11% fragrance oil. So with this, we're gonna be taking that number, so 454 grams, and we're going to divide that by 100% plus 11%. So that's 454, we're gonna divide that by 111% on a calculator, that gives us a total of 409. So now we know that 409 grams of wax is needed for this jar, and all we do is 454, we're gonna subtract 409 from that, and that gives us a total of 45. So now we know 45 grams of fragrance oil, and 409 grams of wax is needed to fill up a 16 ounce candle or 454 uh, gram candle. I really hope this video helped you guys out. I tried to make it pretty short, sweet, to the point. I know my last video, I had a lot going on. I had a lot of comments of people being confused. Hopefully this equation is so much easier for you guys to understand. And I can't thank you enough, Dita, for just being so sweet and allowing me to share this with everybody and being so smart honestly because she just took my formula and created this all herself so I appreciate you so much and I know I can probably speak for my candle community just saying thank you so much for creating this and sharing it with us if you guys still have further questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section below please let me know if this video helped you guys if now you understand how to figure out how much wax how much fragrance oil to use for your specific candles without getting any overages and also one more thing I do want to mention because I did get this question in the comment section of my last video and I don't want to leave it out of this one so if you guys are wanting to make more than one candle at a time let's say you want to make 10 candles all you would do is you would multiply these numbers by 10 in order to make 10 candles if you want to make 20 candles you would multiply it by 20 it's just this is your base for one candle once you have this base formula you guys are golden you can make as many candles as you want you don't have to worry about extra wax you don't have to worry about overages you get the perfect calculations of exactly what you're looking for um, because 45 divided by 409 is 11 percent when you add them together it's 454 so you know the ratio is good you know the amount of wax is good and that's all you need so um anyways i'm gonna end this video right here because i 
as you guys know, I could keep talking, um, but go ahead and ask any more questions. And um, if you guys liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. If you want to make 10 candles, you do 450 grams of fragrance oil with 4,000, oh my gosh, whatever 409 times 10 is, 4,090? Oh my gosh, this is so bad. I think it's just adding a zero, 4,090 grams of wax. I think that's what it is, which sounds like a lot, but it's not as much as you guys think because, um, well, I guess it is. I guess it's 10 pounds, 10 pounds? Yeah, I don't know, no, yes, 10 pounds, no.